So what's going on toxic gamers? It seems like that judgment day came early for Ubisoft hashtag no diddy guys I'm not capping. I wish I could say psych right now. The situation is wilder than Johnny Sin's movies I mean, holy smoke is it ain't no joke is okay Apparently there is like monetization director coming out from Ubisoft ca started calling gamers toxic And we're hearing that Ubisoft is probably gonna get shut down as well oh, shit like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are five thousand genders first of all shout out to the homie asman gold i want to show you this clip and then i want to dive into what just went down guys roll it so Wait it's for it. looking like ubisoft might actually get acquired tencent are said to weigh buyout of ubisoft I'm gonna buy them for 10 cents yeah exactly it's sourced here on Bloomberg here. Now, I don't want to say I told you so. This is exactly what I said was going to happen. Okay. I think if Ubisoft gets acquired, they will probably do a dramatic restructuring. They'll probably get rid and while all of this was going down your uh, guys listen first of all i want to actually stress this that i did not make this up this is not an exaggeration usually there's a whole lot of sarcasm and exaggeration involved i i fully admit that it's just for entertainment and the meme value but, but like i'm not joking when i actually say this but there is a report which i'm putting it on right now it's a rumor but holy crap it's believable because of the other stories that came out from it right we're hearing that Ubisoft's upcoming Assassin's Creed uh, Hexes, the code name, right, will be the, and I quote, the gayest Assassin's Creed yet. <laughs> Bruh, your company about to shut down? You might have to sell it. What the hell? You so BBC Samurai getting shut down right now. We're hearing, right? BBC Samurai, salute to Captain BBC. <laughs> BBC Samurai is shutting down. And you're still thinking and you're talking about that, you know, back in my days, guys, like, you know, we seconds would be saying that, you know, that I remember seeing this, the most immersive game. This is going to be a masterpiece, the best action adventure game. I remember like these like words being on the on the game covers. It seems like that for this one, they're going to say the gayest Assassin's Creed yet. Okay, that's uh, that's their achievement. Okay, rid of the majority the of the hell? staff. And in fact, one of the most trustworthy leakers already hinted at a 30 to 40% workforce reduction. To which a Ubisoft director replied, I rarely post on social media, but today I am sad, ashamed and sad. The gaming industry is rough at the moment, we all know it. I want to dive into this one, but uh, first of all, let me show you this, okay? Hero, hey, we're going to save this one for last, okay? You guys will see why. Uh, shout out to the homie Hero, hey, roll it. A statement from the monetization director over at Ubisoft, where he's mad about gamers criticizing the yeah, company. Wait for it. That looks hilarious. We'll get to that. But first, something... Wait for it. Wait for it, guys. It's important. It is important. The most immersive Assassin's Creed yet? No. The gayest <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Man, like, like, what, 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 what are we talking about? What are we talking about, man? The most realistic game realism. You know, we used to have words like that. The most realistic uh, game in the franchise. Okay, explore the innovative. Like they used to, they used to use words like innovative. Now it's like the game. Okay, bro, I, I wanna show you this financial stuff to go over that also just occurred. Game World Observer says Ubisoft shares soar over 30% as Tencent and Guillemot family reportedly consider a buyout, among other options. This oh, seems what? awfully oh, convenient, what? doesn't it? In my opinion, there's also another explanation to this though. Perhaps Tencent and the Guillemot family don't truly intend on taking the company private, and they may just be hoping that this news can run the price up a little bit, maybe, and even maybe, if the price maybe. is just after, like if the news doesn't end up, uh, if the buyout doesn't end up happening rather, it still may find support above this 230 area. So putting this news out there could just be a desperate attempt at getting the stock a little bit of traction. Basically putting the stock on life support. But let's take a look at what Crazy. they say here in the full article. Tencent and the Guillemot Brothers, which is owned by Ubisoft founders, is currently in talks with advisors on the company's future. Anonymous sources familiar with the matter told Bloomberg that they are considering the following scenarios to stabilize the business. One, company buyout. Two, potentially teaming up to take Ubisoft private. The talks are at early stages, so it's unclear whether they will lead to a deal. According to Bloomberg, the parties are also considering alternative options. Both Ubisoft oh, wow. and the Guillemot family declined to comment. And just for a little more content. While they are like, okay, bro, like their company is on, is about to shut down. But still, they're like, the upcoming Assassin's Creed game will be the gayest game ever. Bro, okay, make that make sense, man. Make that make sense. Y'all suckers, and uh, wait for that monetization director. I think it's ironic 
that the monetization director came on and started calling gamers toxic problematic this and that right it's coming from a monetization game director or director from ubisoft right i i, I guess we all understand their, their, their monetization is not looking that good right now right so it, it's kind of ironic that their monetization director is like pissed off at gamers right now which you're about Dex, to find here out you can see some of the top managers over at ubisoft as well as members of the board many Dimo. of these executive positions so now frederic dugo lionel christin claude guimont okay if guimont c'est le manager uh ça c'est le titre okay chief executive officer so that's one cat? Oh, 64, my bad. I started speaking French there. My bad, guess what? 64. Damn! 64? I, I mean, to be fair, though, like, the Eve Gimo, like, the Gimo family is eating good, though. Like, they don't have to worry about it. Even if the sh uh, company shut down, it's not like they don't have the money. They got all the money in the world, right? So this they're indeed fine. held by the Gimo family. Let's also they're take fine. a look here at the bottom of the screen at the top shareholders for Ubisoft Entertainment. At the very top, the Gimo family with rounding down to 14%. And Tencent rounding up there to 10%, making both groups the largest shareholders of Ubisoft stock by far. Of course, there's still another outstanding 75% or so, so in comparison to all of those combined, they would be a minority. Hopping mm -hmm. back over mm -hmm. to the article, they further say, this comes just weeks after one of Ubisoft's minority shareholders, AJ Investments, publicly Oof. called for taking the French publisher private. Okay, we gotta take a moment here. Salute to Captain BBC! <laughs> I mean, listen, guys, like, not every day you get to see, like, a Captain BBC and, like, a Samurai, like, a BBC Samurai, okay? So, gotta salute. Damn! He's going, like, ta 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 He's slicing them, man. Sheesh! I mean, damn! I mean, damn! Crazy guy, man. Crazy guy. Or selling it to a strategic investor, in addition to other possible actions, such as hiring a new CEO instead of Yves Guimard. AJ Investments, which gathered support from 10% of the company's shareholders, proposed such radical changes after Ubisoft's market value has more than halved since the start of 2024. The launch of Star Wars Outlaws led to one of the biggest share price drops, with analysts raising concerns over Ubisoft's pipeline. As a result, it's- But still, the next Assassin's Creed game is gonna be the gayest Assassin's Creed game yet, guys. Yeah, clap it up for that one. Yeah, we love it. We love it. Bruh, I swear to God, man. Like, this company, bro. Like, damn. If anybody from the LGTV crowd is watching this video, I want to know your opinion on this one real quick. Would you want, like, the most immersive Assassin's Creed? Or would you want, like, the gayest Assassin's Creed? Like, bro, like, what are we talking about, man? Like, damn. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, forget about, like, me. Forget about, like, gen like the general audience. Like, j forget about the 99% of the people out there. If you're, like, the one percenter in the LGTV crowd, I want to know your opinion. Do you want, like, the most immersive? Which means, like, a good game, graphically sound. Uh, and, and, of course, the quality-wise, I'm not talking, like, graphics, but I'm talking quality in a sense where the story, the the game overall, right? Do you want a good product or do you want the gayest product? Like, I want to know, because define the gayest, man. Define the gayest. Like, what does it, does it mean? What does it mean? Like, damn. Stock is plunged to its lowest level since 2013. So yeah, we've talked about that AJ Investments news multiple times already, going through the full statement that they issued and all that. And that could also potentially put more merit into the theory as well. If Ubisoft saw that news when it was occurring, decided, you know what, let's lean into that a bit. In a few weeks, we'll put out some news that we're uh, thinking of buying all the shares back, going, going private with the company, yep. and there you go. Or maybe <laughs> they really do end up taking the company private. We'll have to see how it all plays out. For now, they already have made Yasuke gay, even though the real person was not. So this is gonna be like, we're probably gonna see him put the pee pee in the poo poo. And if you wanna put the pee pee in the poo poo, that's fine. But like, the, we're, the BBC is getting shut down right now, right? In Assassin's Creed, BBC is getting shut down. And, and their company is getting shut down because of, because of that. And because of the piss poor reception of Star Wars as well. And apparently there's this going around. So this was supposed to be like the original design. And even if the design was good, the game overall is not that good. But of course, uh, you know, it, it's like little things, right? That uh, little things. And the reason they uglified her in the game is because of the, they, they want to push the agenda. So this was supposed to be like the original design is what we're hearing, right? And this is uh, like the opter. So look at that. That's a that's a stark difference, my my god. That's a stark difference. Holy crap, bro. Like, damn, these suckers are crazy, man. Holy shit, bro. Like, it, 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 the original, of course, is a, a little bit better. But um, 
even if this was the design the game would have done a little bit better uh, of course like when they uglify it's like a trend right now they always uglify the female characters and then they turn to gamers and they're like hey uh, gamers are toxic towards females nah bro we just want females being females bro like damn like why y'all suck is uglifying them on purpose right so yeah if they were to surely like put out like the actual uh, good design for the actress in the game sure I, I feel like that the game would have received a little bit better but overall what we're hearing is that the game is trash right i, I mean it's a ubisoft product so <laughs> what do you expect right the game is trash so this wouldn't have improved it any way in shape or form but i guess it would have made it so like people would have wouldn't have been calling it woke or anything like that right the reason people are calling it woke is because like what they're what they're doing they're pushing agendas right and they're also uglifying the female characters like damn man this was the original design is what we're hearing and now they they i mean listen we're in the year 20 almost 2025 dog like they, we got rtx 4090s right now ps5 pro is about to come out so you're telling me that they cannot make a video game character look like this especially when all the men video game characters look good i mean i would have to be real the yasuke the bbc samurai look at look at that damn bbc samurai go crazy right so the bbc samurai looks good he looks odd it's just that he's in the wrong time wrong setting right this is supposed to be like a japanese male protagonist and then you look at this this is their gameplay right the kid is like, hey, hey, wow, wow, BBC Samurai, BBC Samurai. So he's pointing, I mean, holy crap, bro. Like, damn, look at that, man, look at that. Bruh. Like, uh, and everybody's like, saluting him. That's wrong setting. And recently, the rumors and leaks happened where we heard that Ubisoft indeed had a Japanese male protagonist, right? You probably heard of that story, right? So I'm not going to take too long. But we heard that, and then they changed it to Yasuke. Uh, after the BLM situation so they could virtue signal as well a and then there's like hip-hop music play as well when he beats up like all the Asian people in the game in their own country in feudal Japan just tone deaf as hell like there's I said kill him Damn, look at that bro like the beat Loki fire though I have to agree Bruh. I have to the, the beat is Loki fire by wrong setting man wrong setting and this is not the way to do it just because he black, Yalsuka started playing hip-hop. Just because he black, Yalsuka's made him gay. If if the real Yasuke was gay in real life, then it makes sense, right? But they're like, nah, bro. So apparently they did that, and now they're saying the next game is gonna be... Bruh, I, I swear to God, this company, bro, like, holy crap, bro. I'm not, like, entirely convinced, but I also don't want to spend too much energy trying to analyze Ubisoft's financial situation because it's just such a disaster, man. It's such a mess. Another noteworthy piece of information here at the end of the article, though, they say in 2022, Tencent acquired a 49.9% stake in Guillemot Brothers LTD for 300 million euros amid rumors of Ubisoft's buyout also increasing its stake in the French publisher. So these people are largely owned by Tencent. They conclude with this. It's worth noting that Tencent and the Guillemot family are minority shareholders in Ubisoft, currently only 9.2% and 20.5% of net voting rights. Okay. So they will have to gain support from other stakeholders before entering into any deals, whether a buyout or other options. Alrighty, so that's the financial stuff. Now in the intro, I also oh, mentioned we go, that we'd go over a post from the monetization director over at Ubisoft. He seems very unhappy with gaming there we go, boys. criticizing there we go. the company. So Ooh. let's see what he has to say. I rarely post on social media, but today I am sad, ashamed, and sad. The gaming industry is rough at the moment. We all know it. But seeing how gamers, quote unquote, react on social medias, wishing ill fate to companies and people alike, is sad. And not only towards Ubisoft. Even though it is always the vocal minority that express themselves on social media, I was hurt, hurt, and ashamed to be a part of this community. Uh, don't, then don't be part of this community, my guy. <laughs> Yeah, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, okay, listen, I would I would be the last guy to uh, say that I want like a company going bankrupt. I always said in my videos, like, I don't want these companies shutting down or I don't want like, a, like these devs getting fired. But I mean, at what point does this crap stops? You, you guys are gaslighting gamers. You suck as always, maybe not you, Stevie. Okay, so this is not directed at you, but you know, the company that you're working at say, hey, says that gamers need to get real comfortable not owning games. And when you produce turds like Assassin's Creed, BBC Samurai, Shadows of the BBC, right? You're not only like dropping inferior products, and I'm not just talking about Assassin's Creed, but like generally speaking, when all your games are turning out to be trash that belongs in the garbage and you're selling it for money dog like do you think money grows on tree like what are we talking about here customer has the the complete right to criticize your product 
Now, I don't want you shutting down. I don't want you getting fired or anything like that. But but when you're pushing agendas and forget about the pushing agenda scrap for a second. When you're just dropping trash games and you are destroying somebody's culture. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think people are not going to criticize us? Do you think that people are not going to talk about it? And then you say, like, not you directly, but your company says, like, gamers need to get real comfortable not buying our games. You directly call gamers toxic. You directly gaslight the gamers. So do you really think that the gamers not gonna, like, respond back? Get get the F out of here, bro. Like, y'all sickers are crazy for that one. And then you have the audacity to say this again. Then you have the audacity to say this again, bro. I get it that you're hurt, but, like, bro, like, your games are trash, man. Y'all sickers are not dropping these games for free, man. Y'all sickers are charging $70, $100, $18 per month, $130 to get, like, the full version of the game. And then the, ga the game is trash. You're pushing ag agendas. You're being actively racist towards black people, Asian people. You openly say or call out white people. Uh, and to you guys, brown people don't even exist. Like, like, what are we talking about, bro? Like, to you guys, Brian, you guys never... What the hell? Yeah, talk about inclusivity, diversity, this and that. You don't even include brown people. And look at that that little Japanese guy who just got murdered by a BBC samurai in the game. What are we talking about, man? Like, damn, man. Y'all think it's crazy in feudal Japan. So you think that people... Of, of course, like, people are gonna be upset about it. Of course, people are gonna talk about it. And rightfully so. The customer has the right to buy your game or not buy your game for whatever reason they whether they like it or not like it they can they, they have the complete right you know what i'm saying and it's ironic he's the monetization director at ubisoft too so okay let's pause there already i like how he says it's the vocal minority who express himself on social media as he's literally making a social media post it's just funny phrasing like he missed how that sounded or something it's also hilarious Mumble that he's playing brothers. that typical oh the oh industry is God. just in a rough spot at the moment Bro, your company, Ubisoft, has been having major financial issues for years. For years. He really doesn't for want years. to admit how Ubisoft has been heavily mismanaged, once again, for years, for quite a while. And how they're putting out slot products, that's why people literally coined the term Ubisoft. Not to mention numerous statements that executives at Ubisoft have made. Things like, oh, it's a quadruple-A game, and things need to get used to not owning <laughs> their games, etc, etc. Then more recently, the complete disasters around Star Wars Outlaws and AC Shadows. And even, for example, doing shady things like all this bot stuff that seems to be going on and allegedly colluding with the New York Times to put out that hit piece against gamers that dismisses all criticism towards AC Shadows is just hate. We could go on and on and on, but let's return to his statement. Uh, yeah, like, dog, when your own company is being actively being toxic towards gamers, what do you expect? What do you expect? Man, see what else he has to say. A few more paragraphs to that. We left off here where he said, I was hurt, hurt and ashamed to be a part of this community. Now, he says, what is even more revolting is coming on LinkedIn and seeing the same comments from people within the industry on top of exposing yourself as a clearly non-decent human being. You are affecting thousands of employees that are Bruh. already impacted by all the hate, despite doing their best to deliver incredible experiences. Their best to drop the gayest Assassin's Creed game yet, okay. Uh, man. Okay, le let me just say this as a rumor, but I'm willing to believe it. Why? Because of your previous track records, Ubisoft. Because of your previous uh, track record uh, of your company, my guy. So when we hear crap like that, I'm believing it. Why? Because yeah, what y'all like has done to Yasuke is ludicrous. This is a dead man. Okay, you like us have like made him who is not, who is not. Imagine like you, Steve, or Stevie or Steve. Uh, what's his name? I believe Steve, right? Yeah, Stevie. Okay, Stevie. Imagine like you pass away tomorrow and you've done incredible stuff in your life, and the company, the very company that you're working at makes you who you're not let's just say you're gay in real life and they make you trans in the game or let's just say you're trans in real life and they make you straight in the game R right or, or you know what let's just say you've done like amazing things right you were just an amazing man okay or woman if you identify yourself as a woman listen man haha <laughs> inclusivity right but like let's just say you've done incredible stuff on this planet earth and then Ubisoft just makes you like a villain in the game. They they just like, <laughs> you know, they make you a villain in the game. 
what, are, what what's your reactions gonna be bro like damn imagine like they they say who you're not in the game man holy crap bro y'all sick have absolutely disrespected this man bro and of course you're disrespecting gamers but oh, of course who's counting that right who's counting that gamers are toxic gamers are manipulative right gamers gamers are menace to society gamers don't deserve to live right of course right that's what you guys are gonna say Get the F out with that, man. Get more with that crap, bro. How can you wish a company to fail simply because they do not cater to you or that the product does not please you is beyond me. We are all in the same boat. Please, please, please stop spreading hate. We should all uplift each other instead of bringing each other down. Okay, my gosh. This is giving me flashbacks to Concord, where that Amanda Kiefer lady, senior concept artist for Firewalk Concord. Studios, was making that long rant, Concord, basically right? saying like, no, you're not allowed to criticize Concord and the character roster because we all have livelihoods. We need to make money. And it's like, yo, we all need to make money. But that doesn't mean nobody is allowed to get criticized when they do a bad job on things. In my opinion, these people come off very manipulative. Like going back to this monetization director over at Ubisoft, which by the way, let's talk about how <laughs> ironic that is. Yeah, this guy's mad about people criticizing Ubisoft, trying to say it's all just hate. And, you and he's criticizing gamers right now. So it's a like yin and a yang, right? It's a like yin and a yang. Equally perfect balance. Sometimes I be thinking, man, Thanos was low-key kind of right. <laughs> nah, he was not. He was not. But what he was right about was, uh, you know, perfectly balanced. I believe there's a quote, something like that, right? Where, where Thanos said that perfectly balanced, right? Perfectly balanced. Yeah, in this aspect. Oh, I, I mean, that was that metaphor works there simply don't like the product. You know, a lot of the criticism towards Ubisoft is also with their monetization strategies being very predatory. And here we've got the monetization director at Ubisoft trying to spin this all in a way where he's really the one who's a victim. Checking out a few of the most liked responses to that post, we've got this one, quoting his part where he says, how can you wish a company to fail? This person saying, well, let's see. When the company continually gaslights me, mm. makes me waste my increasingly hard earned money by not being upfront about a buggy and defective product, not liking the political agendas they inject into games, charging me increasingly more for half-complete experiences, exactly. while expecting me to pay even more for the rest of the game. Yeah, I'm kind of going to want that company to go down in flames. Another... I, I, now, personally, I would still say, like, I don't want any of these people to, like, lose their jobs. Uh, I, I don't want them to get shut down or be bought out or crap like that. But, but damn, when you are, like, producing turds, trash, garbage products after garbage products for years... Okay, and then you inject woke politics in it, right? On top of like buggy launches, trash ass games. Then damn! I, then I start to think that you guys are not competent enough. And then you have the audacity to call gamers toxic. And now we're hearing that the next Assassin's Creed game after Shadows of the BBC is gonna be the guys Assassin's Creed. Holy crap! Holy crap! Guys, whatever you do, do not watch this video, bro. Don't watch this video. Insane information came out. I don't think you guys want to see this there. I don't want you guys, I mean, check out the... Ch <laughs> don't watch the video. Check out the video on the left, guys. And I'll see you right there.